Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel and to a power hour speed clean. Just dropped the kids off at school, and this morning it was a mad rush to get out of the house. So there's still breakfast everywhere, all the beds need to be made. This is my current wardrobe situation. Like, there's just quite a bit of mess in the house. So this morning I was going to spend an hour just cleaning as much as I possibly can, just organizing a few things as well. So I thought that I would film it, hopefully, give you a little bit of inspiration. Um, and there's also so many builders here today. All of our windows and doors are going in on the extension. So I might also be able to give you a little update, show you how our new bedroom is looking. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm just gonna run around. I love this way of cleaning. I feel like if I put a time limit on something, it really does speed me up. So I'm gonna hopefully turn on an audio book, do as much as I can. And yeah, hope you enjoy this video. If you do give it a like, if you're new, please subscribe and let's go. Okay, so first off, I'm starting out in Fraser's bedroom, but this isn't actually Fraser's bedroom at the moment. He's been sleeping in with his brother and then me, my husband and my youngest son have all been staying in this bed in this room um, because of the renovations. We have got another bedroom that like my youngest could stay in, but he'd rather sleep with us. And to be honest, I'm just enjoying it at the moment. He's five years old, so I don't think it will last for much longer. Um, but anyway, I just organized the pillows a little bit and I'm gonna give them a bit of a spray with some Febreze. Our dog Kiki loves sitting on the window seat. It's like her favorite spots because she can watch the world go by, like bark at people running past and stuff. So she really likes to sit there and like have a little look out. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the bed open the windows, sort out the pillows, and then give it all like a little bit of a wipe down and vacuum in here as well. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? For you turn away, I just want you to Throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss So now I've come into Caleb's bedroom. This is where he and his brother have been sleeping. I'm gonna quickly make the bed. He has a coverless duvet and I really love it because it makes making the bed so quick and easy. Also the cover inside the duvet never moves. So it's pretty much always ready to go. So I am actually quite enjoying it. So I'm just gonna put that on with the throw cushions. I love these throws as well. Um, if you wanna see a whole room tour on this room, I'll link it down below. This, I think it is my favorite room. I love cleaning it. I feel like it's so quick and easy to clean. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a bit of Febreze and then again vacuum and just do a really quick wipe in here. Like the two bedrooms really only took me like 10 minutes each because they just needed like a tiny bit of tidying up. Maybe I'm just too weak. Maybe I'm just afraid of being alone. Well, I don't care because right now I feel I feel it too I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight 
And while I'm up here, I'm just going to quickly go into the bathroom. This is what we've all been using at the moment. And it doesn't really look dirty, but there was loads of like lint and bits and toothpaste and stuff in the sink. So I was just going to quickly give it all a wipe down. I also like kind of dusted the soap pot itself because it was a bit dusty. Basically everything's dusty in our house at the moment because of the renovations. Um, but once I've done that, I'm just going to go downstairs and just clear up a little bit from breakfast. Sorry, it's a bit fuzzy at the moment, but as you can see, I'm just loading up the dishwasher, wiping down side, and then I'm also going to wipe down the other surface as well, which is my old desk that we're using in here I also have a load of snacks out um, the boys actually had packed lunches today and they were helping me pack the lunches choose what they wanted so ended up getting out all the crisps basically to choose them so yeah I'm just gonna wipe that down just clear this up really um, so it's just like a bit more presentable and then I'm also gonna go into our main living room um, this is where we've pretty much been hanging out most of the time I've got loads of throw basically when we come down in the morning the boys are always like quite cold and they always want to have like a blanket on so I've got loads of throws in here so they can put them on the dog lives in here as well so I'm just gonna straighten everything out wipe down the table they were doing some coloring before school as well um, so yeah it's just a little bit messy in here and also needs a bit of a vacuum because this is where we eat and just like it's got like a high traffic in here I'm also going to vacuum the couch. Basically, I put a little throw on it. I actually took the one off that was on it a minute ago because um, I'm going to wash it because the dog hangs out on here. The kids hang out on here. They have snacks on here. Um, so I'm just swapping that out. And then, yeah, going to clear the table, wipe it down, and then vacuum. <laughs> You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I wanted to quickly talk about the vacuum that I'm using because it's relatively new to me. This is a Dyson Omni Glide. As you can see, it's quite small. Um, it's really light as well. It's perfect for any like hard floors that like you can use obviously on wooden floor or tiles as well. So I love to keep this downstairs and just use it for quick cleans. It's great with dust as well. You know, some of the Dysons don't like dust, um, but it's brilliant for that or any crumbs. It can literally suck up Cheerios as well. So I've really been enjoying using it. They kindly gifted it to me, um, but this isn't part of any of that. I just wanted to talk about it because I've had about three or four Dysons in my time. Um, I've got one upstairs for carpet and I've got that one that I keep downstairs as well. And apparently there is a Dyson robot vacuum now. So I would love to maybe get that one day for our open plan area. Let me know if anyone has that because I'd be interested to know. Um, but yeah, anyway, found this on the door. <laughs> this is Jackson got a new like, like bow and arrow toy. So he obviously was shooting at the front door. But anyway, as you can see, I'm just tidying up the hallway as well. There was like some dog towels and shoes and stuff that needed to be cleared up. And then I've come upstairs because this was where I was keeping all of my clothes on the landing because we don't have a bedroom currently. But I need to now move all of my clothes into Jackson's bedroom because that door 
to what will be our new room, sorry if this is confusing, um, is now like we have to access it because the builders are going to have to start coming in to the house now that our bedroom is getting to like, it's nearly done. I'll show you it in a minute, like how it's getting on, but all the windows and door to the balcony are they're all in. So basically I'm just quickly moving all of my clothes out of the way so that everyone can access it if they need to. It's also a good chance for me to just have a bit of a clear out, fold things, like go through my clothes and stuff, sort out my shoes, and just generally clean up the landing because it hasn't been ideal having all my clothes out there. Um, Matt managed to squeeze all of his clothes into Jackson's wardrobe. Um, so I've had mine here. It's, it's been fine, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna move it across so that we can easily get to our new bedroom. I know I feel it's something for you. The way you look, the way you are, and how you move. <laughs> it kind of makes me go crazy. Hey. But we should take it slow. Work things out so you don't let me go. When I come real close, I don't want to get hurt. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions, get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you knock me down? Before I'm too invested, we should take it easy Maybe we could test this So that is all of my clothes moved across to the new place where it's gonna sit. There's a little bit of dust in the hallway, obviously kind of coming through from that room. So I'm just gonna quickly vacuum in here. I'm not gonna go too crazy because obviously the dust is just gonna keep coming uh, while we're doing the renovations. I and I'm sure we will. <laughs> Jackson's just come in while I'm voice recording. You wanna say hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> your baby now um yeah anyway i'm just gonna quickly vacuum not being too precious because i know like it's it's gonna be non-stop isn't it um but anyway now that i've cleared this foyer i wanted to show you how our room is looking right okay so if i take you through to our new bedroom it is so bright in there i know it's the camera as well but this is going to be our new room guys look at that beautiful picture window vaulted ceiling, we've got V-luxes, and then they've started to plaster, which I showed in the last vlog. Our bed's gonna go here, then gonna have a vanity unit here. That's why there's like power. Probably have a big mirror here. Then this is the door to the balcony it's in, but the balcony, what's it called? Balustrade or whatever it's called, is not in yet. So I probably won't take you out there just yet. Miss Jackson, <laughs> you can see Caleb on the trampoline. You can see the dog and Fraser as well. So, yeah, it's going to be so nice because even if I'm upstairs, I'll be able to like look out at what the kids are up to, also enjoy the view from this room. Then directly across from the balcony door is what will be our walk-in wardrobe. So that is going to be plastered quite soon. Um, and then this will be our ensuite. Um, so if I take you in, it's still like obviously a bit of a mess, but I wanted to show you that we've actually changed the window in here to match the, the door and the picture window as well. So again, you get the view in here, beautiful. We are obviously going to have a blind put in because it's a bathroom and they're not frosted windows. Um, so yeah, we didn't have to get frosted, which is a bit of a result. So yeah. So I can't wait. It feels, honestly, it really feels like it's gonna happen now. Like for ages, it's just felt like plans, just felt like a bit of a dream. But now 
we just need to start like painting carpet like finish the plastering get soft furnishings in and then yeah we're getting there i'm just so so pleased with how this turned out we're getting a big blind for this as well so yeah smart new bedroom guys i'm literally editing this video right now and i realized that there was no outro so i thought i would just say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope it motivated you a little bit and i hope you enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek into our new bedroom um and yeah thanks again and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>